Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about the best camera gear for travel YouTubers and I'm so excited for this video because not only was highly requested but also even though there are tons of other videos talking about this, in my opinion they're either very minimalist or they have a really extensive list with accessories that you may not need or really expensive equipment. And because we're full-time travelers, we have gone through a ton of research in order to select the best equipment set that will provide the best quality without breaking the bank and it would help beautifully capture all of the incredible places and experiences in our travels while actually enjoying them and not having to carry all of this unnecessary equipment and unnecessary weight with us. So this video is not going to be spec heavy, so I'm not going to be talking about every single features of the equipment and I'm also not going to be teaching how to use them, but trust me that we've actually gone through and actually compared all of the different specs and how user friendly it is, as well as the price and how portable it is to actually bring them on travels. And I really hope this video will help you put together your set as well. So I'm going to be sharing not only the equipment that we own, but also a few things that we wish we own and some extra tips and lastly, I'll be putting the links of all of the equipment that I mentioned in this video in the description below. And some of those links might be affiliate links, which means that if you click on them and end up purchasing, or if you purchase anything else that you want, for example, on Amazon, after you click on that link, then we will earn a small commission. So you will actually be supporting us without having to pay anything extra. So I just wanted to give that disclaimer. And without further ado, let's get to it. So first, let's talk about cameras. This is hands down the one piece of equipment that we use the most. And what we have is the Panasonic GH4 that you can't see right now because I'm actually using to record this video. But I will say that the GH5 is better. It has better stabilization. And I've heard it also works better in low light, but it is also significantly more expensive. So we chose to go with the GH4 and we're happy with it. It shoots in up to 4K 30p, slow motion at 96 frames per second. It's lightweight and in my opinion is the best crop sensor camera for videography. And we used to actually use the, the lens that came with it, the 12 to 35 Lumix lens. And we had some extra lenses as well. We had a wide angle, we had a zoom lens, but we realized that we rarely actually switch the lenses. We primarily use our camera for videography. We love taking photos, but we our focus is definitely videography. So because of that, we decided to change our lens to the Sigma 1770 millimeters with a varying aperture of 2.8 to 4 and we really like this lens honestly it's very crisp and has the perfect zoom range for us allowing us to go wide for vlogging and to capture more of our surroundings and also to zoom in to capture further subjects or close-up details a lot of people use the 1750 Sigma but because we only wanted one lens we decided to go with this one which does make it a little bit heavier but in our opinion it's definitely worth it not having to switch lenses and this is a lens that was actually made for a full frame body camera and our body camera is a micro four thirds so because of that we need an adapter so we have the MM Mite adapter and speed booster and sorry if I'm mispronouncing any of the brands, but um, it works really well. So because of this adapter, you're able to put a lens that it's usually for a full frame, like a Canon or a Sony, into a body camera that is micro four thirds, like a Panasonic GH4 that we have. This adapter is also a speed booster, which means you can cut the aperture of whatever lens you're using in half, allowing you to shoot in lower light conditions and to get even more of that blurred background effect. And if this setup is still a little bit outside of your budget, I would recommend a point and shoot camera. I've heard great things about the Canon GX7, so I'll be sure to link that as well. I have not used it myself, but I've heard that it's great, especially if you were a vlogger because you're able to actually see yourself. Some of these point and shoot cameras do not have the flip screen and this one does. And I did hear that the quality of the video is actually really good. You can do good videography with it as well. The next camera that I have to mention without sounding cliche is just your phone, honestly. 
I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max and I really love it. It shoots in 4K in 60 frames per second so it can capture really great quality video and I love that it has the wide lens, the zoom lens and the regular lens and honestly even the selfie um, camera is also really good as well and that is great especially because there's Sumner and I so he usually has the big camera and the gimbal focusing on videos and I'm with my phone getting videos for social media taking photos and honestly there has been places where we were not allowed to take the big cameras or tripods or anything like that they had certain rules and I've been able to capture that place and that experience just with my phone and we've been able to include those in our videos so highly recommend especially if you're on a low budget and you cannot afford a DSLR camera or a point-and-shoot you most likely already have a phone maybe just upgraded for one of the latest iPhones or Androids that have um, a little bit of a better camera and honestly you can get great quality videos with those and lastly action cameras we have the GoPro Hero 7 and honestly we haven't felt the need to upgrade to the latest models yet we're happy that this one has the back screen we used to have the GoPro Hero 4 which was actually really good too in terms of quality but that one did not have the back screen and you needed that housing to protect whenever you went underwater but the 7 you don't need that so honestly most of our underwater shots are shot with the GoPro camera and we also use it whenever we don't want to compromise the safety of our other equipment if we think it might damage the big camera or even my phone we don't take it we only bring the GoPro because we know it can handle and whenever you are dealing with action cameras you need some accessories and some mounts so what we use the most is the selfie stick honestly that one is the easiest for us to do we like to take some shots upside down too like you know underwater so it's very handy and it can get really long we can take selfies obviously we also have the head strap and the chest strap so these are the two um, accessories that we have noticed that we've used the most we used to have this whole kit filled with accessories it's very easy to actually buy these full kits but we realized that we rarely used most of them so we just decided to purge and really keep the ones that we use the most but one that I really want to mention is the car suction we used to have that one and if you go on a lot of road trips or if you enjoy actually talking while you're driving or want to share that experience then that one might be worth it for you and I would highly recommend so I'll leave that one in the description below as well and another one that is highly used by other travel youtubers is the mouth mount so whenever you have your hands busy let's say you're climbing a mountain or and you can really turn or if you're diving a lot of people like the mouth mount so this might be your case as well depending on the types of travels that you do so I'll be sure to link that one in the description as well and of course we have a little bag here with all of the different mounts and adapters and adhesives that we might need to use it when shooting with the GoPro as well now let's talk about tripods I'm using ours right now to record this video but I actually don't think there's a brand I bought it a long time ago when I was in college but I've heard great things about the Manfrotto tripods and I'll be sure to leave those in the description below because they come highly recommended because they are lightweight and compact so it's easy to carry around and if you're a solo travel especially I would say that it's a must because you can always rely on people passing by that will take great shots for you and also it's definitely a must if you like to take long exposure shots if you want to take sunset time lapses for example it's really really useful Sumner and I do not use it as much because I usually take his photos and he takes mine but I would love to have more couples photos and shots as well however this specific tripod that we have it is a little bit annoying and, and big to carry around so it's definitely on my list to upgrade it to a more portable one so we can get those shots as well but we still use it a lot especially for videos like this or as I said sunset or sunrise um, time lapses so highly recommend a tripod now this one we use it all the time this is the Joby Gorilla tripod and honestly we use this mainly for vlogging we put the camera up here and Sumner usually just holds it like this um, and he's able to put it 
far enough to actually capture both of us and obviously you can also use it as a tripod you can make it into all of these different shapes it can wrap around maybe some railings or something like that you can get the exact height that you want and i also really like that you can turn this sideways so you can get portrait shots as well now something that a lot of youtubers ignore is the importance of audio a lot of them focus on incredible videography and having beautiful shots but honestly if your video has bad audio people are not going to watch it so the microphone that we have is the Rode Video Micro and we have not felt the need to upgrade it at all it's worked really great for us it's worked great with the DSLR camera and we have even used it with our phones as well a lot of other travel youtubers have the bigger Rode microphones like the Rode Video Mic but honestly as I said we have not felt the need to upgrade those ones there are definitely more expensive this one's about $60 and it's worked great for us it comes with a little fluffy cover to help when there's a lot of wind and it helps with echo as well if you're a travel videographer one piece of equipment that is a game changer in my opinion are gimbals so gimbals are used to stabilize your footage so you don't get that shakiness that is pretty much inevitable if you're just shooting a video while holding your camera you can get gimbals for your DSLR, for your point and shoot camera, for your phone. And the one that we have for our GH4 is the Zion Crane 2. And again, if I'm mispronouncing the brand names, I'm really sorry. But this is the one that we have and we have just upgraded to this one. We used to have the Zion Crane V2, but we had to change it to this one because the V2 could not support the weight of our camera with the new lens because as I said, it's a bigger lens made for full frame cameras. And the way that they work is you mount your camera right here on the top and all you have to do is turn it on and the motors and sensors will stabilize your footage while you pan, tilt and roll giving you super smooth shots. And aside from when we're vlogging, this is how we take 90% of our footage when we're using the DSLR camera. And I also really like that it comes with this little tripod. So you just scroll it down here and you just open here not only to balance the gimbal, which you need to balance whenever you change the weight of your camera, of your setup, but also with this, we've been able to take photos of both of us without having to use the tripod. We've been able to take um, footage. We can use the tripod also for time lapses. And you're able to connect your gimbal with an app on your phone and you can control everything through your phone. So you don't even have to be holding it. If you want to be far away and you want to pan around the landscape and get you on the video as well, you can do that through the app. But to be completely honest, we're not really loving this gimbal as much. We honestly really liked the V2, but as I said, we had to upgrade because of the weight of our camera. But this one is very bulky. It's not as lightweight. It does not have certain features like the upside down shot that we used to have with the V2. So we're probably going to be upgrading it again, either for the Zion Weebill or one of the DJI Ronin gimbals. So I'll be sure to link those as well in the description below if you're also interested. And speaking of DJI gimbals, we just got the DJI Osmo 4 in order to stabilize the footage from our phone as well. And the reason why I love the 4 so much compared to the previous models, it's because it's magnetic. So it comes with this little grabber here that you put around your phone and all you have to do is snap and it's safely attached to the gimbal. You can unfold it like this. Once you turn it on, hold it, and it's stabilized. So you can move around, you can pan, and your footage is going to be very, very smooth. But as I said, to me, I love the fact that it's magnetic because it comes off so easily. A lot of times I just want to grab and go where there's something that I don't really have time to set up and get it all balanced. So I just grab it out, point and shoot. And it also comes with a little tripod. So you easily just scroll this at the very bottom of the gimbal and you can set it up to where you can take photos, um, timed photos or videos as well 
from afar so highly highly recommend this especially if this is going to be one of your main pieces of equipment as I said if your budget is lower and you're only using your phone I highly recommend that you have a gimbal it makes all of the difference in the footage as I said this one's for phones but there are gimbals for point-and-shoot cameras depending on the weight of your equipment you have to research you know the best gimbal for you if you don't really care to travel with bulkier gimbals there are tons of options for us it's really important to be portable because we're full-time travelers and we always travel with everything that we own next let's talk about drones now I know this is going to be a pretty significant investment but in my opinion it makes all of the difference in the videos it gives the viewer a point of view that not a lot of people get to see and in my opinion it really elevates the quality of the videos so if you can invest in one I would highly recommend and the one that we have that we have just upgraded to is the DJI Air 2S and honestly I am in love with this drone we used to have the Mavic Pro and honestly it was really good but it was a little bit heavier and it didn't have some of the features that this one had that I absolutely love so we got the fly more combo which comes with the bag and a few of other accessories and extra batteries and first of all I love this drone because one it is very small and lightweight Seriously, I thought that the Mavic Pro was small and light until I got this one. I did not realize how wonderful it is to have a smaller drone, especially for us, as I said, that we're carrying everything all the time. We're carrying it to every single trip that we take. So definitely makes a difference and I also love that this drone has lots of different features to where if you're a beginner you can still take wonderful shots it has what's called master shots and some other types of video taking shots to where you can honestly just select the object that you want to take a video of and press go and the drone is going to analyze the surroundings and it's going to take lots of different shots by itself without you having to do anything so honestly if you're a beginner I would definitely recommend this one for the features alone but I also really like that it has extra sensors it has a lot more sensors than the Mavic Pro had and that makes me feel a lot more at ease honestly even though I've been flying drones for a while now I still get nervous my heart still beats really fast every time I fly a drone so having the extra sensors really gives me a little bit more peace and know that I'm not going to crash the drone most likely so I definitely definitely recommend and as I said I bought the fly more combo which comes with two extra batteries and the multi battery charger I think that's what's called and it also comes with these ND filters which honestly you really need it especially when it's really bright outside and it not only protects the camera um, of the drone but it also help not get those super bright highly exposed footage so I really love that it comes with this it also comes with extra propellers that I always carry with me in case it gets damaged lots of different um, cables for all types of phones so I really like this drone would highly recommend if you can invest in it it shoots in 5k up to 30p 4k up to 60p and the image quality is so crisp the only feature that I miss from the previous drone from the Mavic Pro is the ability to turn the camera sideways and get a portrait shot which is wonderful if you do a lot of social media posting we tend to focus on YouTube the most so honestly it hasn't been a big deal but if that is really important to you maybe you want to invest on the Mavic Pro or the Mavic 2 Pro one of our most recent purchases has been the pocket light Falcon Eyes F7 I think that's what it's called honestly we have not used it yet but throughout our travels we've had situations where it was a way too dark to record especially as I said with the GH4 where it's not that great in low light 
and we wish we had this portable light. It's not only magnetic, so you could attach it to like your car or a fridge or anything nearby that could help you with that lighting, but it also comes with the ability to attach it to a tripod. So I'm really excited to have this. Now we're always taking it with us. It is super lightweight and you can connect it to your phone to control the intensity. You can get different color lights as well. You can choose any color that you want. And it comes not only with this little bag that comes with the hook, which is really handy, but it also comes with the diffusers. You have this one, silicone ones, and the honeycomb. And it also comes with this little screw on adapter so you can use it on top of your camera where you would normally put a flash or anything like that. So as I said, we have not used it yet, but I'm really excited because we not only do videos while we're traveling like vlogs where we have needed some extra light, but also we record videos for our other businesses. We record videos here for YouTube like this. And we always try to use natural light, but we're always moving and we cannot always control the amount of light or if you have enough windows in the Airbnbs or wherever you're going. So these ones right here would definitely make a difference when you're trying to set up a nice home studio. So I mentioned that we use our GoPro for most of our underwater shots, but there is an accessory that we love to have and we're so glad that we made the investment, which is the underwater housing by Audex. So honestly, it's pretty much just the silicone, really thick silicone housing where you can put the camera inside and the lenses and it's big enough to fit most setups. And this one is the um, regular one where only the front glass is open, but they have a new one where you can have access to the back so where you can easily switch between settings and the front as well. So you have a glass on the back and a glass on the front. But for this one, the kit comes with the, um, the housing plus the front glass that you have to get matching your lens. So if you have several lenses that you want to use underwater, you need to get multiple glasses. But um, this is what's gonna go on your lens and it's what's going to seal the housing so that no water comes in. And then you have the strap you can, I believe, choose either the wrist strap or the neck strap, which is the one that we chose, where you can easily just put it around the camera and have it around your neck. So we really love having this accessory. As I said, it's not something that is essential. If you have a GoPro, you can take awesome underwater shots just as we have, but we really like using this when we wanna take really high quality um, footage and we love using this one to take photos and videos that are half and half, half underwater and half above water, especially if you don't have the GoPro dome where you can get a similar looking shot using your GoPro, but it was pretty bulky in my opinion, even though it was lightweight and we did not use it enough because we have this one which is so portable. So I really like having this accessory. Another very important thing that is usually an afterthought is storage. So I would highly recommend that you invest in a few SD cards definitely have more than one and if you have equipment that uses the micro sd card and the regular sd cards definitely have more than one of each type for example the micro one for the drone and the gopro and this one for the dslr camera and honestly i'm not a pro in specs but this one has been highly recommended is the syndisk extreme pro for the DSLR camera. And this one for the drone, it's the Samsung Evo Plus. And I always try to get the 128 gigabytes or more. But as I said, if you have multiple, you can have cheaper ones. You can have ones for 32 or 64 gigabytes. Just make sure you have a few of them because you don't want to be out on the full day of travel and then run out of storage and you haven't had time to actually transfer your footage. You don't have your computer with you and or None of those devices that can um, transfer right away for you. You definitely want to have options. And speaking of backup, another piece of equipment that I swear by is the Lassie hard drive. Honestly, I used to have other types of more popular hard drives like the Seagate or the Samsung, 
but I lost everything that I had because it fell while I was using it and if you've been through that it's very difficult to recover all of the files that you have it can not only take a fall with the extra protection around it but it's also water resistant and really reliable I've never had a problem of accidentally ejecting while you're using it as I used to have it with other types of hard drives so I would highly recommend it even though it's an investment they are kind of pricey I do still recommend it we have two of them we have two five terabytes um, hard drives eventually we might upgrade it to the SanDisk SSD which I'll put right here on the screen which is a lot smaller so a lot easier to take it around when you're traveling so we might consider but it's also a big investment so for now we are loving the Lassie hard drives and I would highly recommend it. Another device that it's definitely worth having while you're traveling is a reliable power bank. I'll make sure to link this one in the description below even though I don't even know if it has a brand but this one is really reliable. I believe it can charge fully two devices before it even starts running out so I really like it and honestly if you ran into the situation of running out of battery on your equipment on your cell phone and you have no outlets around I would definitely say this would be a lifesaver so highly recommend having one and another thing we carry around is this little packing cube actually where I have filled with all of the charges all of the cables, extra batteries, as well as cleaning wipes and brushes to make sure you have everything that you need to run smoothly while recording. And last but not least is our travel backpack, which is this monster right here. It is the Wondered Provoke, Provic, I don't know how to say it, but I'll make sure to leave it here on the screen. We have the 31 liters, which is pretty bulky. It's kind of big but we definitely need it for all of our equipment as well as to have some room to put anything extra which I love I love the fact that you can just open this extra compartment here and fill it up it gets pretty big but we need it especially if we're going to like the beach and we need to put extra towels or um, swimwear or anything like that we definitely need this top part right here and the reason why it's so good for equipment is because it has this back zipper right here so all of your equipment is protected it's not very easy for someone to steal it you can put your laptop here and it has a whole compartment right here that you can customize it the way that you want for all of your you know the size the specific size of your camera and lenses accessories everything so I really like it it has lots of different pockets so it's easy to stay organized it also comes with a waterproof cover at the very bottom and it has a bunch of different hooks and straps for you to customize it the way that you want it to so highly highly recommended a lot of travel videographers photographers and youtubers have this backpack and they swear by it and honestly we love having it but what's really great um, for Sumner and I situation is that there are two of us so usually he would be um, with this bulky and heavy backpack and I would have a smaller one that one is better in photos but two is also more easily accessible so this one is wonderful and it's good that your gear is all protected uh, but a lot of times you just want one that you can access from the side open the big compartment and just grab something really easily and this one's not that easy to do that so it's good to have two so I just have a regular backpack with me but would highly highly recommend investing in a good backpack even if you don't do this one do a backpack that will protect your gear and it will make it easier for you to not only be able to get all of the footage that you want and store your equipment switch equipment but also that it's comfortable so you can really enjoy your travels and I wanted to add this little bonus section as well because a lot of you might also be recording videos on your laptop and not only out and about vlogging and you actually need some reliable equipment 
and I want to share with you what we have. So first, microphone. We carry our microphone here in this drone case, but we have the Blue Yeti Nano. So Blue Yeti microphones are very well known, but I was so happy when I found out they made this little, the smaller kind, the portable one, which is much smaller, portable. I love it. It's honestly not a big deal for us to be carrying it around. And they're amazing if you do tutorials, if you do voiceover on your videos. Honestly, even if you're just doing Zoom calls or if you um, have a full-time job where you need to have good audio, I would highly recommend that you invest in one of these. We have not regretted it. We used to have a lav mic that was a lot more portable, but honestly, the quality does not even compare. We teach online courses, so Audio for us is extremely important and we're always um, doing video tutorials for YouTube as well, not only for our travel channel but also our business channel, so would highly recommend this microphone. And even though laptop cameras have gotten really good, it does not compare to having your own webcam. And we highly recommend this one by Logi or Logi, I don't know, but it is wonderful quality. It records in 1080p and it makes a huge difference in quality compared to your internal laptop camera. So it is very lightweight and portable. It can easily clip to the top of your laptop and there are other um, ways that you can use it as well. So if this is important to you for your videos on YouTube or for your business, would highly recommend this piece of equipment. And lastly, another product that we absolutely love and that I had to mention here is this laptop stand by Roost. Honestly, I was so glad when I discovered it. It is so lightweight and portable and all you have to do is open like this and you can have different heights, control it and adjust it and put your laptop here. It is definitely a must in my opinion if you're working while traveling. We don't have our own offices. A lot of times we're working out of Airbnbs or co-working spaces and we cannot select the best quality chair or table. So these ones really save our backs. We used to have another brand but honestly Roost is the best one. It's very sturdy. It doesn't easily slide. It has really good grips so honestly highly highly recommend and that's it this is our entire travel gear and I really hope you found this video helpful and that now you're able to put together your own set of equipment that will help you capture the best moments during your travels and if you did like the video be sure to leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss any of our future videos any of our vlogs our cinematic videos or travel tips just like this one and if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions any equipments that you really love that i didn't mention here in the video be sure to leave those in the comments below share this video with a travel youtuber or someone who may be interested in getting started and as always thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in future videos